oh, come on. It's not even fair. They have about 20 players that could all do just as good as one of our top players, and they've got it all around in the past five years or so. Blow the whistle, ref. He was playing hockey. Ducks lose against the Edmonton Oilers. They are one of the... They're in the top of the Pacific Division for a reason. They've drafted a lot of number one draft picks over the past couple of years. I won't go into details much, but just last year was Connor McDavid, the captain of the team after only playing one season with the team he was named Captain. One season! That's not normal. He's not even 20 yet and he's a captain of an NHL team. There's players that are on teams for 10 years before getting named captain. After long mismanagement, the Edmonton Oilers come out to a surprisingly amazing start this year, especially with their young lineup and adding more grit. Of course, with the Milan Luch, each scum. Game got started off with a power play goal from the Edmonton Oilers, followed by a power play goal from us, uh, Ryan Kessler. Power play goal starting the game off in the second period, followed that up by another goal from the Edmonton Oilers. They go up 2-1 for a good portion of time. And then our favorite suite of them all, Ricard Raquel, gets his 10th goal of the season in 16 games. He now has 14 points in 16 games. He's almost that point a game. So close. We go to overtime. Ducks, Ducks lost, they lost before they got on the ice. Leon Dreisaitl, another top round pick, gets the goal for the Edmonton Oilers, beating them in overtime. Edmonton Oilers are scary. They're going to be scary for a good couple years as long as the management holds up to what it is right now. They've been laughing stock for quite a couple years, but now all the laughing at him has come to fruition. They are now scary. They are now dangerous. They can put pucks in the net. It's scary to see where the team's going to go. It's looking like it. it's going to be a dynasty type team with the amount of talent they have, especially on entry level contracts. The interesting part is when those salary contracts are up as to how under the cap they will be at that time. I don't want to end on a low note. Tomorrow we get to face the Calgary Flames, so it'll be a good one, especially with Johnny Goudreau out of the game, so we should win the whole game. See you next time. Quack, quack, 